Um, how you doing? Right, I'm going to talk about stents because um, I think I told you before, I'm not sure I did, that I had one stent put in whenever my uh, clot was uh, cleared and I, uh, well, I had a stent put in but for months afterwards I couldn't relax because I kept thinking I was going to die because you read these things that one in four people that had a stent fitted would die within a year or maybe two years or whatever date they give you but what they feel the state is you know you can get a stent fitted from the age of 40 even younger than that and then mostly stents are fitted in older people sort of like the 80 90 group so they're not really giving you a tree figure when they're saying one and four uh myself how long does the stent last well mine's lasted 13 years uh, luckily enough, I haven't had any more effects of the, the heart. Uh, touch wood. It has been okay till now. I'm taking my medication, which is aspirin uh, by Pasteril. And I can't even pronounce the other one, but I take them anyway. But, I mean, I've looked up on it, I've researched it. And these new stents the drug eluding ones, they, they, I mean, they are the business, so they are, and even going back to the bare metal stent, I've read a lot of occasions where people way back in the, I'm not going to say the 70s, because my dad died at 46 in 1976, and they didn't have stents, so if I'm correct, I think it was the early 80s, so there are people out there that have stents that have lived 40 years, so Basically, if, if you do the right exercise and stuff like that, you know, you will live for many, many years with having a stent. The secret is, and it's hard to tell you, if you've just had a heart attack and you've had a stent fitted, like I did, it took me at least a year before I recovered from the shock of having a heart attack. And I think it took me even longer than that. Just to sort of think, you know, am I going to die? I mean... Even still to this day, 13 years later, I mean, I still remember the date of my heart attack and people would say, oh, put it behind you, put it behind you. That's fair enough. People can say put it behind you. But if you haven't been the one that's had a heart attack, you don't know what the experience is like and what a person has come through. Because I still clearly remember the first night whenever I actually had the heart attack and they basically saved my life. But yeah, how long does the stand last? Uh, it, it depends on your age, really, how fit you are. I mean, I know, I know people that had a heart attack at the same time as me. They then continued to smoke. They put on weight. Uh, half of them didn't even take the proper medication. So it's all in your hands, yourself. You know, if you keep yourself healthy, you know, you do your exercises and stuff like that there. And keep taking the medication. Be careful of your medication. When I first took my medication after the stent, I checked all my... Well, as we all do, we Google. But I, I checked all my medications. And two of the tablets that I took, actually, they coincided with each other and you shouldn't have been taking them together because they could actually bring on a heart attack. So I brought that to the attention of the doctor who actually then checked that out himself and said, yeah, you're actually right. And then he changed one of the medications. So before, if you've just had a heart attack or something like that there, check your medications and see whether the medications clash or not. Because a doctor is not always right. You are the main person that knows how you feel in here. You, you know, so definitely check it out. And, you know, you'll find that how long does the scent last? For me, it's 13 years. And this boy's going to keep himself fit. And I'm going to make sure that I'm going to try and get another 13 years out of it. We can only try. And if you're actually getting a stent, uh, tomorrow I'm actually going to do a video on what it's like preparing for the stent and actually getting a stent and how it feels after the stent. So I'll talk to you then. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel and maybe leave a comment, I would appreciate it.
But thank you very much and take care of yourselves.